Hi, and um, this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to manage some DNS records for your domains. So first off you need to log into your control panel and then go to the domain overview section. Then into domain administration. Now depending on what your account is set up with, you might only have one domain or as in my case, lots of domains. So we'll pick this particular domain here to work on. Now, important things to check. Is the zone management ability enabled? If it's not enabled, you won't be able to set up DNS records. Also, is it in sync? In other words, are all the records up to date across the entire system? So we click on the DNS tab, and here again we have the overview. So at the moment it's set to using our name servers, the internal ones, so we'll be able to set up uh, DNS records. Now if you wanted to use somebody else's name servers, then you'd be looking at something over here, changing the hosting to external. Once you do that, you'll no longer be able to manage the DNS for the domain from within our control panel. If you click on DNS records, you can see which records exist already. And there's two types of records. It's auto, which means they're automatically created by the system, manual, which means it's been created by you. At the moment, you can see there are a couple of records that have already been created. So let's create a new one. So what kind of record do we want to create? There's a number of basic options available from the drop-down. You can create an A record, so for example a subdomain. So if I wanted to create blog.aftermarket.ie, I would create an A record, like so. So I'll put in blog, and I'll put in an IP address. doesn't really matter what the IP is, we'll just use one of these here. This is just for test. And of course, it errored because I haven't put in a proper IP address. So you have to make sure that you put in a valid IP address. And click on finish. And now you'll see you've got your new record. But it's not in sync yet. So that won't be active until it is in sync. And if we want to get rid of the record, just click on the thing there. And then on delete. Do I want to delete it? Yes, of course I do. Thank you. create a new one. So we can create a CNAME. A lot of people who want to use Google Apps would be creating CNAME records. A name server record, an MX record, or maybe a TXT record. So let's use an MX record. An MX record is for mail. Now to be very careful here, if you're setting up the, the mail for the domain, and not for a subdomain, leave the first field blank. Then you can choose the preference for your MX record. If you're only creating one MX record, it doesn't matter because there's only one. But let's say for argument's sake, we want a very high priority. So what I'll do is I'll point that at one of my other servers. So that's blank, set the priority, and the TTL is standard. I click on finish. Now if I wanted to create another MX record, and I could create that with low priority. So now we have two MX records created for that domain, one pointing to one server and another pointing to another server. So maybe if you want to create, say, a TXT record, choose the TXT box. And then you just put in the text you want. But we don't want to do that. So we'll go back. And 
here because it's a C name we can specify another host name in other words another A record to point to that so for example you might want to point um, the main domain say <coughs> the www at another domain name for example just for argument's sake it's not very useful but just for example and that didn't work I guess it has to end in a full stop at least it tells you that so now we have a C name created Now if you want to play with your zone settings, you can go in here and you can edit various aspects of it. So for example, if I click here, I can decide which email address is set in the, in the record. Probably not that important for most people, but it can be useful.